If this is your first time starting to use AppRite, see our 101 video on how to install AppRite. You can go ahead and create a new project in AppRite. We're going to call ours Apple Getting Started. Once you're on your project page, you'll see where you can add a new platform. We're going to go ahead and create Apple App. Now we'll give a name and bundle ID to our application. Now we're going to open up Xcode and add packages. The first thing that we're going to do in Xcode is create a new application. We're going to name our product AppRite dash Apple. Notice our bundle identifier is com.apprite.apprite Apple. Go ahead and select what folder you want to create your new project in. Now that we have our Hello World updated, we're going to go ahead and include our AppRite SDK. Let's go back to our project setup within the AppRite console. Here you can see that we can select File Add Packages. And this is the GitHub URL that we can add for the SDK for Apple. File Add Packages in the search bar, we'll paste our GitHub link. We're going to add to our project AppRite Apple on the master branch. This could take some time if it's not cached and you might need to fetch new. Once it's complete, go ahead and make sure that the AppRite package is selected. Once you see this screen, if by chance this says Apple Mac OS, you might want to switch over to Apple iOS. Just to check before we import the AppRite SDK, and you should see that the Hello World text will come up. The next thing to do is to check out how to import our SDK. Jumping back over the project screen, if we copy the contents of init your SDK, we can take and paste those into our new code snippet. So at the top here, we'll import AppRite, and then we'll set up our client. We should not need to use the self-signed, so we'll take that off. We're also going to call our locale API, so let's initialize that as well. Now that we have locale instance, we can use that for our calls. But first things first, we need to add a couple buttons. For now, I'm gonna add two buttons, one called get countries and one called remove. Let's check and make sure everything's running correctly. I don't see any errors once I have my client initialized and the locale API. I've added the two buttons. We also need a spot for our countries to be stored at. So let's create a state at the very top of our view. This state is called countries and we can get the model from our AppRite models. We're gonna to wanna to iterate on those. So let's set up another Z stack at the top of the list here. And now we can see that there will be an array of countries that we're going to iterate over and pull out each country name. You can find more details on our locale API within our docs page. Now we'll set up our two actions. The first action is going to be to get our locale.listCountries. Secondly, we want a button just to be able to remove all so that we can go fetch them once again. Now that we have this set, let's go ahead and run this one more time. If I click Get Countries, you should see that a list comes up. If you have any issues with running this command, or if you get any errors, please refer back to our documentation page. Here on our documentation page, we walk through creating your first AppRite project and adding the Apple platform. Please read through this page carefully, and if you have any questions or need help, reach out to us on our Discord page.